Yo guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you how to make a data pack for Minecraft 1.16. Um, in this tutorial I'm only going to show you how to get the data pack into your world and not all the things you can do with it. I will be making separate tutorials for those, for example, I, may, I already made a tutorial for, for loot tables and you can use this data pack for that. I'm also going to make a tutorial for recipes and probably one for the custom dimensions they added in 1.16 which I think is pretty cool. Before we start the tutorial make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I know for a fact that only 5300 of you are actually subscribed and subscribing to the channel is as easy as clicking one red button so I think it'd be pretty easy for everyone who's not subscribed to do so. Anyway this is going to be a pretty short tutorial because it is actually not too difficult. Uh, what you need to do is click the first link in the description and then you need to download this file. Uh, it's the 1.16 data pack template.zip and what you need to do is right click it and extract all to desktop and then you will get this file and if you double click on it you can see two things here the f um, we will first go into the pack.mc meta this is not too important uh, the pack format you don't need to touch that and here's the desc description uh, so do with this what you want I'm just going to do something random like data pack tutorial. Can't spell. Okay, so <laughs> then you can go into the data folder. So and in here we will find a lot of folders. Uh, you can, by the way, you don't need to download this. You can make it yourself too. So that's why I'm going to show every folder in here. So if you double click it, you can see um, one Minecraft folder and one example folder. This you can actually choose, um, like the name of your data pack. I just made it example so. Um, it's clear that this is not the actual name, that this name is not actually a requirement. So we're first going to check out the Minecraft folder. Um, as you can see here, these are two are for the dimensions and here you can put some stuff. Here again, the, an example folder, we have that in almost every uh, one of these. So I'm not going to explain what to, how to do that. I'll be making a separate tutorial as I said. Here's the loot tables folder, I made a tutorial about that. I'll put the card in the top right of the screen. And here's the text folder. In here you can uh, change the, the vanilla text. Um, I may make a tutorial about that. I don't know. And uh, there is also a functions folder here. And there is a tick.json in here. And here you can put the things that you want your data pack to do every tick. There is a folder in here in the example folder, not the Minecraft one, as I said. As you can see, so we'll, uh, we'll go to that right now. So as you can see, if we go back to here, go into the example folder and into functions this time. Um, as you can see, here's a loop, fo here's a loop file, .mc function. And in here, this is basically like, um, for example, a command block that you put on repeat and in there you can put your uh, commands. You can do it. This is basically the same, but then not in Minecraft itself. So you can put commands here. I'm going to do uh, use a say command and then put something behind it. So we can see in game if the data pack actually works. So let's do something like subscribe. <laughs> yes, there we go. So that's something you can do and you can do a lot more, but it's just to see if the data pack will work in a little bit. Um, and as you can see, advancements, loot tables, recipes, tags, this will be uh, useful for the res recipe tutorial that I'm going to do. So you can do a lot of stuff with this. Um, I will, I'll be making separate tutorials, as I said, oh, a couple of times already. It's I'm just um, going to show you how to put it in your world. So we are going to go to Minecraft. And what you want to do is uh, click on create new world if you don't have one already. Um, I'd recommend putting it on creative, so that we all, that's always really useful. So give it the proper name, New World is not a good name. Uh, please change it, so I'm just going to uh, do data pack tutorial. Uh, there we go, and then create new world. So we're in the world, a little bit of lag because it's still loading. Um, you don't really need to do anything in here, just quit it and then go back, uh, select it edit and then you can go to open world folder and this will open the world folder <laughs> um, it's in dot minecraft saves and data pack tutorial um, which is the name of the world so then you can go into the data packs folder and he in here you can put your data packs um, i'm going to minimize this and this is actually the data pack that you unzipped and and i put this thing in here so the, the commands and this is actually the data pack, so you can just drag it in here. You can also uh, drag a zip file in here, and this saves a little bit of space, but if you still want to edit it while you're in the world, 
Uh, you don't need, you don't always need to unzip it. Um, but if if you want to share it with people, it's recommended to zip it because otherwise you will waste a lot of space on their computer. So so um, if you drag it in, you can go back to Minecraft and load up the world. And this should be loaded. So uh, we will we should be seeing the chat spammed with a lot of <laughs> yeah subscribe. As you can see, um, if um, a quick little tip if you didn't know. Uh, if you want to disable your data pack, you can do slash data pack, disable, and then uh, yeah, your data pack 1.16 data pack template. As you can see, it's not spamming subscribe anymore. And if you want to enable it again, it's the same, but instead of disable, you can do enable, and now it will start spamming it, spamming it again. So yeah, there we go. I'm going to disable it again because that's quite annoying. <laughs> but that's already it. As I said, it's really simple to do this. So. Um, Make sure to stay, to stay tuned for all those upcoming tutorials like the recipe one and the dimension ones and stuff. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Bye!